We had Gamescom this week. And with Gamescom, Gamescom is kind of like E3, right. except not many people care about it because it's over in Germany. Oh, okay. So it's probably pronounced different. <coughs> uh, probably. Insert horrible German accent here. I'm not going to do it because I don't have the ability. Neither am I because it's way too late. All right. So <laughs> we had um, a few trailers, a few updates since E3, and one of those updates came in the form of a new trailer for Devil May Cry Five, and in the trailer, um, it was mostly gameplay yeah. um, that we saw. We saw Nero has so it you didn't you haven't played these games, so let me illuminate a little bit of the backstory. Devil May Cry Four, we were introduced to a new character known as Nero. He had a demonic arm, his right arm. Oh yeah, yeah. Right arm was demonic. Now I got the robot arm. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose that demonic arm, like pretty much at the beginning of the game and it's going to get replaced with like a, a robotic arm that functionally seems very similar because you could do things yeah. like reach across the the level and like grab someone stretchy and arm. yeah stretchy arm stuff and like make it get really big and slam enemies down and it looks like your arm can do that too so but I'm sure they're going to come up with more ideas other than just that. Well, because you got technology like lasers and rockets. Or maybe he can, like, take his arm off and throw it at someone. Grappling you know, hook. Yeah, grappling. Oh, rocket sure. arm. His fist comes off, shoots it at people's faces. And he says, rocket punch, like Android 16 in Dragon Ball Z. Yes, yeah. sure. Android 16. I don't. Is that. That's in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Android 16, Android 16 the big guy. That just wants the, to kill the, the 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 not the two sibling people, but right. the other guy. Right. Uh, I, he was annoying and weird. Oh, oh, I liked him a lot. Well, I just read him, and he was just kind of uninteresting. And it felt like he was just there for reasons. Yeah, not he, a lot of personality. Right. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, also in this trailer, so uh, we didn't just get Nero. Um, in the pr- in the very first trailer we got at E three, we just got a like really quick. Yeah. Second of a look at Dante. Still pretty brief. He's always just kind of tacked in there at the end. Yeah, it's just like he's just, I don't know, the main protagonist of the series. Doesn't look like it in this one. <laughs> well, and uh, Devil May Cry 4, you played like the first half of the game as Nero and then the second half of the game as Dante. So Maybe it'll prob- still be like that. I think it's going to be a lot like that. Um, but maybe not do it. I-, I would like it if you could swap between the characters or like maybe like you do a couple of missions because the game those games are divided up into missions or levels they're not open world at all right um it'd be cool if you just did that like had certain missions you play as dante nero and you switch back and forth so we see him not only um riding his motorcycle probably the same motor it looks a lot like the motorcycle that he had in devil may cry 2 um, which is technically the latest in the timeline. Huh. So this is going to take place probably after that. So this will be the the new latest in the timeline. Mm. And it looks like you can play as Dante riding the motorcycle, like in combat, but he can also take it apart in two pieces and yeah. use it as a weapon that itself. Cool. It was a transforming. Pretty motorcycle. sick. Yeah. yeah. Interesting mechanics there. Yeah, Definitely. I I really can't wait for this game. Like I'm I'm really looking forward to it. In fact, they just um, they took down the pre order for it and then they brought it back up because it's going to come out like March 29th. I think is going to be the release date. So I went ahead and pre ordered it. Like I as a series a, a series uh, as a whole series, not just looking at individual games. I actually prefer Devil May Cry to Resident Evil. Hmm. So, because the games are more consistently good, and typically, and you you know what you're going to get, hmm. and I just I really like the world uh, and the character. The character of Dante is a huge draw, which is why I couldn't stand Edge Lord Dante. Yeah, not Edge Lord Nine Point Seven. <sighs> right, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a really pretty game. It looks very smooth, like the action mechanics or the fighting mechanics are cool so it kind of and it looks like because i've seen shots where it's running at 60 frames per second it kind of looks like they're using the re engine which 
uh, Resident Evil 7 used. Right, yeah, yeah. And Resident Evil 2 is going to use. And both mm. of those games run at 60 frames per second and still manage to look very pretty. Yeah. And that's what this game is basically doing. Mm. So, yeah, keep using that RE engine. It's it's gorgeous, and Capcom is making all the right choices right now. 